Hey, hey, and welcome to my channel. Today, I want to uh, introduce you to Christmas Rescue Plan because I know that many, many of you have uh, been actually very much afraid that all this uh, Christmas and all this New Year time will affect all your efforts uh, you put into eating healthy, into maintaining uh, anti-inflammatory diet. So I just came up with this uh, very special Christmas Rescue Plan, uh, which tells you exactly what to do uh, on the day of your binge eating and drinking day after and uh, how to do uh, what to do to recover quickly okay so please keep on watching and share with those who need it so a lot of uh, girls will be drinking this christmas and many of you will be drinking in this new year so this is the few things i want you to uh, know about um uh, alcohol. Many of you think uh, alcohol actually makes you uh, more happy and more sociable, but it's really kind of opposite. The alcohol is depressant. It actually drains you of adrenals and makes you feel more down the next day. If you remember my video about endometriosis and alcohol, you know that it also raises our estrogen level. And we women process it slower than the men. So it takes uh, less for us to get drunk than, for example, a man. It disturbs blood sugar function, means you are likely to make unhealthy choices the days after. Can you relate to that? <laughs> so what to do day before? Basically, uh, many, many cultures, like we in Poland, we know that uh, before we go to drink, we have to eat a lot of fatty things. So eat dense and highly nutrient food. It slow down the rate of alcohol absorptions. And be mindful, you know, the fatty things doesn't mean that you have to eat uh, fish and chips and, you know, fried chicken. Fatty things mean also that you can eat, um, for example, fish, which contains a lot of good fats as well as beans, you know, like very highly nutrient things. Have a long nap. Many people think that uh, when they are drunk, they actually sleep better, but they just sleep longer. And, uh, but alcohol actually affects our deep sleep level, which means that uh, we don't have enough of good sleep because in deep sleep level, the healing happened. And when our body is uh, struggling to process the alcohol, our deep sleep is affected. So the day before, have a long nap and enjoy this good sleep. <laughs> Top up electrolytes. We're going to be talking about this uh, many, many times today. Coconut water, avocado, bananas, especially coconut water, you know, have it ready day before. Supplement with vitamin B. Hydration recovery. Vitamin uh, B uh, can be uh, found in uh, all the green vegetables, in the eggs, but also in meat. So the girls who are consuming a lot of meat, uh, I want you to, uh, to go back and watch my video about endometriosis and red meat uh, because it's actually very highly inflammatory and increase the risk of endometriosis. But it also uh, makes your vitamin B, uh, especially vitamin B12 levels, higher. So if you're consuming a lot of um, meat already, you will have vitamin B levels up high. So I would uh, not suggest you to uh, top it up with vitamin B. Okay. But I have to mention that because this is the part of our recovery plan. So I thought I'm going to mention that. Supplement with inostil. Uh, what is this inostil, you might think? This is basically nutrient that help to detoxify the liver. It's a type of sugar. It influences uh, both of the body insulin response and several hormones associated with mood and cognition. Inostil is found naturally in um, citrus fruits and many fiber-rich foods, um, for example, beans, brown rice, sesame seeds, and wheat. So supplement with inostil day before okay supplement also with vitamin c basically combats the stress of your cells and your cells will be very very much stressed after you binge eating and binge drinking so when you are out what to do when you are out eat a lot of nuts 
This is not by accident that in many pubs there is a lot of nuts and seeds, you know, in the bowls. Uh, in, they know that when you're consuming a lot of nuts, basically your body is processing alcohol slower. So you're going to very likely to order more alcohol from them. Okay. So eat nuts, guacamole, all the good oils and avoid dark drinks. The dr darker your drink is, the more likely is that you're going to end up with horrible hangover and it's going to be very bad for you. Okay. So all these dark drinks are out all this uh, white kind of drinks like martini and vodka, they are easier uh, for your body to flush out. So that was day before what to do. But what to do when you get home and you are drunk <laughs> and you eat a lot? First of all, take another vitamin B complex to restore those vitamins you use to break down the alcohol and get the big glass of the coconut water so we can uh, replace the electrolytes we just lost. Hydrate, because the alcohol makes you dehydrated, so we have to give this water back. Add healthy fats, nuts, seeds, olives, uh, avocado, hummus, and add fiber, brown rice, sweet potato. It helps you to stabilize blood sugar, because when we go to the binge eating and binge drinking, we are consuming a lot of artificial sugar. You know, there's a lot of syrups which I add to the drinks, plus the cakes, all that artificial sugar. Sugar. So we have to uh, switch off from the artificial sugar to the natural sugars, okay? So all the fiber, brown rice, sweet potato, it helps you to stabilize the blood sugar. Very important. What to do the next day? Take another vitamin B complex, get the coconut water and warm water plus lemon. As you will see, we will be giving a lot of fluids because uh, the next day you body need to recover and uh, replace the, all the water we lost. Eat good breakfast. So what is the best breakfast recovery, <laughs> you might ask? Uh, spinach, egg, avocado, and green smoothie. You've got basically everything you need uh, to replenish all the nutrients we lost. Uh, we uh, got some good fats as well as we've got some fiber. So this is the ideal breakfast option. Eat big lunch, for example, brown rice, salmon, kale to replenish all the nutrients and stabilize blood sugar. So that's your the best option for uh, lunch. Get out to the sun for um, 10 minutes uh, or top it up with vitamin D if you're living in the country like me in the UK. <laughs> in the evening, drink some soup. The best soup is veggie uh, soup or the bone broth uh, soup if you are eating meat and do some yoga twist, girls. It helps you to detoxify your organs and prevents building up the estrogen. That's why the girls who are doing yoga and have endo and notice that it's actually helped them with endometriosis because it prevents building up the estrogen. Okay, I know that doing yoga is the last thing you want after you've been heavily drinking, but believe me, in the long term, it actually helps you to detoxify quicker. And go to bed early. So after the binge eating, that was the alcohol, what to do after we eat too much, too much sweets, too much processed food, too much all that shite. Don't skip the meals. The worst thing you can do is don't eat altogether. Okay, have a small meals instead. Stabilize blood sugar, brown rice, sweet potato, fruits. Okay, we are getting out of this artificial sugar and going back to natural sugar. Have a long sleep. Lack of sleep, it's mean increased appetite. There's actually research that shows that people who didn't sleep eight hours uh, will consume 22% more calories the next day than those who did. So have a long nap. And the last thing, remember the rule, 80-20, it's mean that you don't have to eat perfect all the time, 100% is enough that you eat clean and you are mindful of what you're eating in 80% of the time. Therefore, you can uh, actually um, afford this 20% of the bad food because your body will know how to deal with it and how to get rid of it, okay? So remember the rule 80-20, uh, eat good 
80%. So you'll be able to, uh, you know, have all the streets for 20% without uh, damaging your health and without ruining your uh, endo diet. You got this. You really, really got this and go back to, uh, you know, your healthy living. Don't be this uh, few days to be excused to go back to old uh, sick you because this is not what we aim for. Okay. Uh, today we are starting five days uh, challenge uh, and we are starting at 6 p.m. on my YouTube, uh, on my uh, Facebook uh, page, which I'm going to link in the, the uh, description, but the replays will be available uh, next the same day basically at 7 p.m on the youtube channel uh, for those who signed up uh, you will receive all the working materials you will receive all the pdfs and the access to my uh, secret library where you can download every single ebooks you really wish for absolutely free so i'm gonna see you at 6 p.m today bye